Hello guys, in this video, we are going to see about ARP spoofing. So, we need to use an ARP spoofing tool that is called ARP SPOOF. spoof. See, this is showing in red. That means the package is not installed in my Poly Linux. So, I need to install a package. So, I'm in root user. Okay. Or if you're not in a root user, if you are seeing in the dollar symbol, just type SUDO SU. To become a root user okay now we are going to install apt install install and package called dsniff when i press enter see the package is installing it is, it is asking yes or no to install on my device so i am pressing y just clicking enter so it's not installing okay it's uh, okay it's successfully installed so now i am typing a or b is p o o f so see the color has been changed to green so the package is in my so clicking on this file manager so the package will be located in file system here user share this area all the installed applications will be located so we're going to see here apps so see here we scan here so all the files are located here Okay, guys, here is the DNIF of package. See? Okay. So, okay, we close it here. Yeah? So, we come to this. When first time I'm opening this, so I'm increasing the font size. Can I give H and D? See its version. So, here yeah, this proof. It just used for intercepting the connection. So, I used for interface. So, T for target, all for host, and C for Post or both type of. So we are going to intercept using this interface and this target. So exactly what we are going to do is this is the ARP spoofing. Exactly we are going to do this. So in VM virtual machine, my virtual machine thinking my system is an access point. If you I am using a system, then your router is an access point. So in my case, I'm using virtual machine. So I'm virtual machine using Kali Linux. So virtual machine thinks my system is access point. It's directly connected to internet resources. And the victim machine, we're using Windows 10. So I want to just, if I get any request, if I send it from my Kali Linux, normal connection, it will request to the access point and get respond to my computer. If in victim, I mean Windows 10, get a request and would be access and get a response. In spoofing, the Windows 10 will get request and response from my computer, from Kali Linux. Windows 10 get request and response from Kali Linux. The Kali Linux will get this access point. So how to do this? So now back to this. Okay, we all installed this ERP spoof and we know interface on target. So command. So now we have to check the victim is on active or not. Okay, how to check? Using net. Discover. So we see in a previous video, net discover. If I press enter, we have to wait till it will be checked all the things. So I suggest you to use ERP scan. So that is means if you don't see in this video, just use this command to install. Just apt. You would need to be a root user. Atb. Install Install ARP hyphen scan. Press enter. It will get installed. So I am already installed. So not new to the install. So if you guys new installing, so it will be installed on your device. So I need to run this. So ARP SCAN scan. So just to click on help. See, we can do this, do this all the thing using this commands. So okay. So I want to just to scan in my router. So I'm clear all in this ARP scan iPhone list L and I click this see 10.0.2 10.2.3 10.2.4 with this my address so now ARP iPhone A so see 10.0.2.2 is the gateway so this is the IP address sorry this is the MAC address so consider I want to spoof 10.0.2.3 so what I need to do is I'm using the interface, so opening in a new tab. I'm seeing what interface I have config. 
So ETH zero is the interface I'm using and a target IP address and a gateway. So okay, all things we have seen here. So let's see how to spoof it. So opening a new tab. So paste here. So here A R P spoof iPhone I means interface. E T H zero is the interface I'm using. Okay. Now I need to know the target. iPhone T for target. So this is the target IP address 10.0.2.3. So I'm typing here 10.0.2.3 and a gateway. So this is my gateway. I'm connected to the router. So this is the gateway. See 10.0.2.2. Let us enter. See. So that was done capturing. So one thing I need to do. So now the victim connected to me. Now the router is connected to me. So I'm thinking that I am a victim. So I'm split this vertically. So I am copying this so paste this I'm telling that 2.2 it's a router gateway and 10 point 0.2.3 this is the victim so i'm pressing the enter see it's capturing so it's capturing so now i'm spoof with the connection but the internet is not connected because that's the one safety feature in this call linux that is so the safety feature we need to disable it by running a command in a root mode. So the command is me P C H O echo. So one open bracket. So from this part P R O C iPhone slash sorry not iPhone slash S Y S system slash N E T mid slash I P version four I P V four slash IP underscore forward if four or WK or D forward. Okay, let us enter. See it executed without any problem. That's it, guys. So we captured within all through our computer. So this is called as ERP spoofing. In next video, we are going to capturing a password by using Buttercap. So this ERP spoof tool only used for spoofing our internet connection and using Wireshark to monitor what the data is transferring by our computers. So this and all we can understand data. You need to know ERP spoof will just spoof this connection. So here the victim thinks I am a router. Here the router thinks I am the victim. So this connection will be connected to our ETHO0 connection. So if we run ERP A you see there is a two connection. First one is for router, second one is for big table. So you guys understand what I'm saying is so this is called as ARP spoofing. So next video, how to capture this using a tool, better tool. Okay, next video we are going to capturing a password in HTTP connections. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We will see in a next video.